Have you ever noticed when you get drunk, what happens? Your toast masters. What do you mean? It's a common phenomenon. You know what happens? I can still have one full bottle. Who said I'm drunk? <laughs> Just check it. You tell your friend. Can you drunk? Please, now don't have a drink. Please stop it now. He will answer you. Hey, go ahead. I can have one full bottle. I'm not drunk at all. See, see, give me a glass. He will go into drain, but he will never say that I'm drunk. <laughs> that is a common phenomenon. Same thing happened in 1997. I was with my friend, sitting in a bar of Indian club. And we were drinking. The person who was drinking the people sitting there. He used to run a Punjabi restaurant in Bahrain. When he got drunk, I told him, Sadinder, not enough, finish, you just have enough of it today. Please stop it now. Here, yeah, go, I can have one more bottle here. It was a free club, so he keep on ordering drinks and he was having drinks. Finally, he vomited. That's why. As I was dancing, you find. The table next to me was a Sri Lankan person staying there. He started talking ill about India and Indians. And it was in the one. I took it as a strong objection. I called the president and said, How come you allow Sri Lankan inside the one? Who has whose guest he is? I made it a point that he checked the gate and all this. Better be sure of it. Finally, <coughs> Just those two masters. He didn't end it there. After four days, when everybody thought the battle was over, I saw him sitting next to our GM in the hotel. When I saw him, I just went back. I said, I have made a big scene. What, who is this? what is he doing in the hotel? I went inside, asked the one of the receptionist, who is this guy? Who's sitting with the GM? She came out. When he is uh, the new system manager and the IT head of this hotel. The moment she said that, the sky fell on me because he's going to be joined as a very, very senior person in the hotel and will hold key to many things. Then I start thinking to myself, what have I done? Whatever blunder I did just four days back. And first thing which I came to mind, why I got drunk? Because what drinks give you, give you an immense confidence. The secret is confidence. <laughs> <laughs> then when I start losing my confidence, I rush to my back office bar opened the vodka, made a couple of dynamites. What we used to call dynamite, it used to be the opposite of screwdriver. The screwdriver was 60 ml of vodka and 120 ml of orange juice. Vodka and 60 ml of orange juice. After having a couple of those, those dynamites, I felt confident. What they will do? He is just a system set. We have got a squirrel system. Maximum we will check how many drinks have gone here. He will not do anything. He will not do anything. But next day when I came back, I realized that this guy could be very dangerous. One, he's a Sri Lankan. Two, our food and beverage cost control also is a Sri Lankan. And three, the finance control of the hotel also was a Sri Lankan. And I was known to be very pro-Indian and had conducted certain pro tamil programs in Bharat. I was very scared. I said, no, this guy is going to make my life miserable. I saw him went to his office. He didn't spoke to me nicely. He said, I mean, I'm going to drink on duty, which everybody knew in the hotel I knew. The moment I catch you, you are finished. This was something very scary for me. Again, as I said, drinks give you a lot of confidence. I continue drinking, knowing that he's not on duty, so I can manage. <laughs> he used to be the duty manager on Mondays. And on Mondays, he used to come to visit the bar at least four times. Luckily, I used to fast on Mondays, so there was no chance to catch me drinking. <laughs> he would come to me, how are you, trying to smell out. Nothing, I was fasting, so there was no chance. Things passed, days passed by. I kept my process of drinking regularly in the hotel. Nobody used to touch me, nobody used to know that. Everybody used to know I am drunk, but nobody used to catch me drinking. So the process continued. But one fine day, this extra confidence which these spirits were giving me took its toll. On Friday afternoon, I came to the hotel. It was a holiday, but we used to work on swimming pool side. I finished the pool bar, had a lot of dynamites there, hose down the bar. When I looked at the top, I saw Disilva coming down, very very soon. I thought, maybe he's going down to health club, a lot of shell and things will there. My good friend, that day he was the duty manager. <laughs> when I saw him, I just took it pretty casually. I closed down the bar and I was full drunk and smelling awfully vodka and alcohol. When I opened, when I closed the 
bar door and wanted to leave, I saw him rushing towards me from the pool side. The moment I saw him coming towards me, I opened the pool bar again. Confidence was enormous in me. I was already drunk. So I thought, what to do? I opened the cupboard looking for a cram the menth bottle. Cram the menth is a liquor which gives the smell of mint. Once you drink it, your mouth will smell of mint. But the bottle wouldn't be found out there. <laughs> I could see from the window pane this is about marching towards the poolside bar. The God, please save me. I opened the fridge. There was nothing except a few pieces of tuna, a couple of eggs, and yes, one large onion which was already cut and peeled. What I did, couldn't think anything, I just grabbed the onion, start eating it like an apple. <laughs> Finished the onion, went out, closed the bar. This is what came again. Hey Aaron, you are trying, come here, come here. I got my no, I'm going, my duty is over. No, 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 come here, come here. And I went closer to him, smell, do how? Okay, sir. <laughs> what is this? Go, 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 what else? Smell this, is this and smell. After he said go, I ran for the security gate. I ran from the security gate, went home. Next day when I came back, I first of all thought maybe I had a log entry. There was no entry, I went to the work. And from next Monday onwards, I never disclosed to the duty man in the right day. But then, you want my smell? Shall I come? <laughs> and that was it. And I saved my day because of extra spirit confidence. Over to you.